Find the slopes of lines that form the given angles with the positive direction of x axis. Let us begin. So we begin with part 1. So here we have an angle theta which is given as negative pi over 4. Theta is the angle made by a line and with the positive direction of x axis. So we are required to find out the slope of that particular line. All we have to do is find out the value of tangent of that particular angle theta and that's going to give us the slope of that line. So let's replace the value of theta with negative pi over 4. Now we know that a tangent is an odd function. So that means tangent of negative uh, pi over 4 is going to be equivalent to negative of tangent of pi over 4. Now what's the value of tangent of pi over 4? That's 1. So our slope comes out to be negative 1. And we know that when the slope is negative 1, it's going to make an angle uh, which is obtuse in nature. Let's check that out in our coordinate axis. So here we have a line and this is making an angle of, it's given here it's negative pi over 4. Negative pi over 4, that means the angle is going in the clockwise fashion. Whenever our angle is measured in the clockwise fashion, it's considered to be negative and it's making an angle of pi over 4 with the positive direction of x axis. So this is pi over 4 and it's going to be negative because it's going in the, the clockwise direction. Here we are getting a slope value of negative 1. Slope of negative 1 means it is ob obtuse in nature, which means that the actual angle is actually this angle. So this is the obtuse angle because of which the slope comes out to be negative 1. Okay, let's go to the second problem. Problem number 2. Here we have the theta value given as 2 pi over 3. Now 2 pi over 3, that's also 120 degrees. So that's an obtuse angle. So that means we should get a negative slope. So let's try to find out the value. So tangent of theta, that's going to be equals to tangent of that will take 120 degree. Now 120 degree can be also expressed as tangent of 180 degree minus 60 degree. 180 minus 60, that's 120 degree. But we are writing in this particular fashion so that we can rewrite 180 as 2 times 90 degree minus 60. Now what we have here is a relation. We have an even multiple of 90 degree. Whenever we have an even multiple of 90 degree minus some angle theta, then our tangent function is going to remain as a tangent function, but the new angle is going to be 60 degree instead of 120 degree. Now this 20... Now this value 2 is telling us that we are in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, our tangent function is always negative, so we have negative tangent of 60 degree. And what's the value of tangent of 60 degree? That's going to be square root of 3. And we're getting a value which is negative square root of 3. So this is the slope of that particular line. And clearly we're getting a negative, so, uh, negative value. And that's because we started out with an obtuse angle. So let's check that out in the coordinate axis as well. So our angle, this angle is 120 degree, 2 pi over 3 radians. And this is oblique, uh, this is an obtuse angle. And that's the reason why we're getting a negative slope. Let's go to the next angle, which is 3 pi over 4. So in part 3, now we have theta given by 3 pi over 4. Now 3 pi over 4 radians, if we convert it to degrees, that's going to be 135 degrees. So let's find out the value of the slope of that particular line. So we'll take the tangent of that angle theta, that means tangent of 135 degrees. So tangent of 135 degrees, that's tangent of 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. Now 180 degrees, we can express it as a multiple of 90 degrees, that will be 2 times 90 degrees minus 45 degrees. Now what's 2 times 90? That means our tangent function is going to stay as tangent, but the new angle is going to be 45 degree. And 2 times 90 minus 45 means we are in the second quadrant where the tangent is negative. So our value comes out to be negative tangent 45 degree, tangent 45 is 1. So we get a slope of negative 1. Fine. So this is again uh, the represented by the same yellow line here. So this angle is 135 degrees. So here we have an obtuse angle. And because it is obtuse, we got a negative slope. Let's try out the final prawn. So here theta is pi over 3 radians. Pi over 3 means it's 60 degree. Now this is an acute angle, less than 90 degrees. So tangent of theta, which will be the slope of that particular line. So we have tangent of 60 degrees. A tangent of 60 degrees, that's a 
value square root of 3 here we're getting a positive value of slope because our angle was an acute angle so let's check it out that particular line as well in the cartesian plane so here we have this particular angle which is 60 degree and the slope of this particular line came out to be square root of 3 which is a positive number